And there we go, picture perfect bentos for tomorrow. This is the secret ingredient right here. This is it. <laughs> so good. Are we like in a Twilight Zone thing? I, I don't know. I, I'm seriously, this cannot be a real reality today. the first time that I've flown with my dad in over 25 years and it may be the last time that I fly with my dad so I wanted to do something really special I want to make a bento box that's going to be special so come along with me as I pack a couple of bento boxes for our cross-country trip with an Asian flair all right if you want to see a variety of vegetables you should go to an Asian market my favorite I'd love to take kimchi, but not on a plate. I'm gonna find a wide variety of animal parts as well. I'm gonna stick with the chicken thighs. I've never made musubi. We're gonna give it a try. For those of you wondering where you get natto, you get it here. Okay, not low sugar at all, but sometimes you just need comfort food. And if you want to hear a variety of languages, head to an Asian food store. You would believe what you would hear. All right, the first thing I have to do is get my box of bento box stuff. Now, I've never used these wooden containers before on an airplane because they're not leak proof, but I'm going to try it this time. Here we go. And some of this, 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 this. Then I gotta get all my little bento box tools out. All right, for all you people who are full Asian and you're gonna critique this bento box, remember I'm half Asian, half European. I'm gonna kinda do it my style. It's not gonna look exactly like everybody else's bento box probably, but I'm also having to do this for an airplane, which means I need food that doesn't have to be kept hot or be kept cold, but can be eaten room temperature on an airplane. I'm starting off with boneless, skinless thighs because I like the flavor. And um, I also like that um, they take a little bit better to frying. So I'm gonna get these cut up into sizes that are good for the bento box. All right, for the coating, I'm just gonna use a little bit of flour. Don't ask me about measurements, I don't know. I just, my mom never measured, I don't measure. I just kind of sprinkle stuff together and, you know, it, well, that looks good or smells good. So that's how I do it. So I'm using some, um, this is just like, pizza dough flour. Don't usually eat a lot of flour, but there's not much in here. I have a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. I'm gonna be using some of this special um, chipotle bacon smoked salt, so that'll give it a little more flavor. This is the secret ingredient right here. This is it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And now I'm just gonna add this to a baggie, right like that. And I'm just gonna put that chicken right in here and just give it a good shake. It's not going to be a lot of chicken. These are bento boxes. They're kind of snack boxes. There's not a lot of room, so I just need enough. Get everything coated. And I'll tell you, my secret to this is I leave it sit in this bag for a little while. I don't know what happens with this flour and this chicken if you do that, but it tends to stick a little bit better. So I leave it sit in here for about half an hour. This is, sorry, that was loud. This is the next thing. I have never made musubi before, so I'm gonna try it, of course, now, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, so I'm gonna take this can of Spam and I'm gonna fry it up in a pan. If anybody knows a trick on how to get this out of the can, please put it in the comments below because I'm struggling. Ta-da! I'm gonna be making them with these little things here. So they won't be the full size here, but I think I can get two, maybe even three out of this on the top. You know, I've never actually had Spam ever in my life. And I don't know why I decided to do this, but it looked really good when I watched it on YouTube. Can you eat this stuff? I guess you can eat it. I'm just gonna try it. I've never had it. Salty, interesting. Hope it tastes better cooked. 
All right, I'm just gonna fry this with a little bit of lard. I mean, it is pork already, so we might as well just put a little lard in the pan. All right, let's fry these puppies up. Ooh, they're getting brown, nice. All right. All right, I'm gonna add some meat in. This gives it a little bit of sweetness and and a little bit of tamari. Extra saltiness, like it's not already salty enough. Let's give it a shake. Ooh, it's looking really nice and glazed. Looking yummy. All right, you got you got to look at this. It looks really good. Look at the caramelization on that spam. All right, I, I just have to try this right now. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. That is dang good. Wow. I think we're going to love it. My boyfriend just came home, he tasted it, and now I'm just gonna cook the rest of that spam. All right, now we're gonna cook the chicken at karage. Just melting some lard in my nabe. All right, let's get some of these turned over. Let's put the meat on there. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to what you're cooking. That's a fail. I'll bet you $100 my boyfriend will eat that anyway. All right, I'm taking the chicken karage out a little early because they need to be refried again, but I'm gonna do them in the air fryer. Now I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer to get them crispier so they're not in any oil getting more soaked. This will make them a little crispy. All right, in they go. I may not even leave them in five minutes. All right. Oh my God, they look amazing. Look at that. It's like perfect. I'm telling you, if he doesn't like it, I'm just gonna eat his bento box. I need to try one more, just to try. <laughs> so good. Here are our meats. So yummy. Okay, who bet me $100? Because here we go. What do you think? They're a little burnt? <laughs> I told you he'd eat them. This is takawan, which is a daikon radish that has been pickled and colored. Obviously daikon's white, but it's a staple in the Japanese cuisine, so I'm gonna have to put that in our bento because it's one of the few vegetables my dad will eat. Next I have organic nori, which is seaweed that we wrap around the masubi. Interesting fact is when I was a kid, nori didn't come pre-roasted like this. You had to open it up out of a package and roast it over a flame until it got kind of crispy, but now it comes pre-roasted, so that's a really nice convenience. All right, let's get started with the rice. This little form has little um, places where you push the rice out. That's how you get it out of here. Perfect little masubi size. All right, let's start making this stuff. All right, so here's how I do this. I take a piece of the spam and I put it on top of the rice, the little rice square, and then I lay my piece of nori right on top, just like that. Now I'm gonna wrap it around and it's gonna go around more than once, that's okay. But as I get over to the side here, I want this to stick, so I take a little bit of hot rice like this and put a couple pieces on there. It's what I love about Japanese rice, it acts like a little bit of glue. And holds it all together. So now my masubi has a nice little wrap on it. 
All right, let's plate this, shall we? I'm gonna start off by just putting a little bit of wax paper on the bottom. It just keep everything from sticking, which is nice. And then put my dividers in. These dividers are, you can move them either way, but here's how I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna start off with the masubi, I think. We're just gonna get this put in here. Let's see if we can get all four of these. I may not, maybe only get three of those in here. So I wanna put this little wasabi treat in. Then I'm going to plate the karage, the chicken. I like to put a little bit of shiso leaf in here for a little bit of decoration. Plus it smells amazing. If you have never had shiso, it's, it's an amazing um, Japanese herb that has a very distinct flavor. So get these in here. All right, now let's put in some of the takawan, which is the Japanese pickle and carrot to add a little bit of color, a little bit of extra flavor in here. My dad's not real big on veg, so I'm just gonna try to put a little bit in here, sneak it in here on him. And then how about some blueberry, blackberries? He loves blackberries, so I'm gonna put some blackberries in here to give us just a little bit of blackberries and Push that down just a little. There we go. Beautiful. And there we go. Picture perfect bentos for tomorrow. I had one left over. I'm going to try it. Oh my. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Getting excited about tomorrow. Our bentos are packed, but I have a few extra things I'm bringing with me on the plane to make this meal extra special. Now, I would not normally do this. This is a special occasion. This is the first time I've flown with my dad alone, maybe the last time I ever fly with my dad, so I'm making it extra special. I'm bringing wooden bowls to make our miso soup in on the plane. I'm bringing these little Japanese um, mochi cakes with red bean in for dessert. I'm also bringing in little wooden teacups for us with some green tea and then the napkin inside. And then inside is just this tiny little extra garnish for our miso soup. So everything in here will give us a nice full meal on the flight. I'm really excited to see how he likes it. And these are our little sets ready for flight tomorrow. Let's get these packaged all up in my little bento bags. Are this, 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 there's one, here we go, this, this, silverware, two bentos ready for tomorrow. Well, my dad might not make it through security, but the food did. They got us all boarded and now there's something wrong with the plane and we have to move to a new plane. Okay, so now we boarded and flown all the way to Denver and they just told us we're being diverted to Albuquerque. Okay, so now we're going to fly to Albuquerque, get off of this plane, get on a new plane and then So I really wanted to have this meal on the plane, but it looks like we have been changing planes, diverted, all kinds. We are now like almost four hours delayed in our flight. So we may be eating at Albuquerque Airport. Well, this is the sunset from our hotel room in Albuquerque. All right, so we had our flight delayed, changed planes, diverted, and canceled. And now we are in Albuquerque overnight and have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. So we're going to eat our bentos in the hotel room. All right, I wanted this to be special on the plane. I'm so sorry, but here we have, uh, this is your bowl for miso and here's your teacup and these are your bentos and this is your silverware. Oh, nice. Okay. 
Everybody would have been jealous. Yeah. All right, Dad, how do you like your bento? <laughs> I love it. Gorgeously <laughs> presented. And it's so Japanese. That's it is. Japanese are all about presentation. I did this in honor of mom. <laughs> so this is your little wasabi crackers, masubi, which is spam, <laughs> sushi, <laughs> karage, chicken karage. I have some blackberries, some takuwan and carrots, and you'll have miso soup and tea. Okay, wonderful. All right, dad's going to try masubi for the first time. You've never had masubi, right? No, I haven't. Masubi. Yes. <laughs> try. <laughs> it's probably like <laughs> all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take the rice out and just have seaweed. <laughs> the airplane sucked all the moisture out of the rice. <laughs> Miso soup? That is the spot right there. But the miso soup is wonderful. Especially when the leg of your stand is <laughs> I set up my tripod and I put it right in my soup. <laughs> oh, the cup is leaking. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. This is just par for the course for our day. It doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> the chicken karage is no longer crisp. The masubi is dry. Dad's teacup leaked all over the table and now my little mochi cake is soaked. I put my tripod in my soup. I really honestly am afraid to ask what else can go wrong today. <laughs> Dial zero? I'm dialing zero. It's not doing anything. It's just nothing. There's no sound, nothing. I hear nothing. All right, so we were gonna try to order breakfast for tomorrow morning and realize that our phone doesn't have a cord <laughs> and it doesn't work. Are we like in a Twilight Zone thing? I, I don't know. I, I'm seriously, this cannot be a real reality today. <laughs> Sometimes the bad times can be turned into good times and it's all just about your attitude and how you look at things. And that's exactly what I've learned from my dad. And this trip was no exception. I'm glad I had some time alone with him. Well, although the day didn't end as we planned, we're still having a special adventure together here in Albuquerque. So I think we're gonna finish our bento box dinner. I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna thank you all for watching my crazy video today. I hope you got some great bento box ideas for your next flight. Make sure that your flight doesn't last as long as ours and the rice won't dry out. <laughs> Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, juice life, drink the joy. Keep life simple. I'll see you in the next video. Try this one more time. <laughs>